हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 2.8 फ्रॉम चैप्टर 2 द वर्किंग फ्लूइड एंड बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडीएस टॉप एंड मिकोंगी द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज कैलकुलेट द इंटरनल एनर्जी एंड एंथैल्पी ऑफ 1 केजी of air occupying 0.05 cubic meter at 20 bar if the internal energy increased by 120 kJ as the air is compressed to 50 bar calculate the new volume occupied by 1 kg of the air so first of all Uh, we will write the given data so we have given that mass of air is 1 kg the volume which it occupies at 20 bar is v1 and it is 0.05 cubic meter also pressure p1 is 20 bar we can say that this is the state one of the air if the internal energy is increased by 120 kJ so now this is state two internal energy is u2 is equal to 120 kJ and pressure also increases from 20 to 50 bar and it is p2 is equal to 50 bar we have to find three things in this problem first for state 1 we have to find internal energy means we will find u1 and enthalpy of 1 kg of air that is h1 so we are finding the enthalpy and internal energy of 1 kg of air so this will become u1 small u1 meaning that this is the specific internal energy also the enthalpy which we are finding will be also specific enthalpy for state 1 and for state 2 second we have to find the new volume occupied by 1 kg of air that is v2 so coming to the solution of this problem we will need some other supporting values which are given in the start of the exercise in chapter 2 problems that is it is given in the note we will use the value r that is specific gas constant or particular gas constant and its value for air is 0.287 kJ per kg also if we write it in kilo in joule per kg per kilo it will become 287 joule per kg per kilo similarly the value of specific heat capacity at constant pressure is 1.005 kJ per kg per kg so these values will be used in the solution of this problem 1.005 kJ per kg per kg also the value of cv is 0.718 kJ per kg per kg so now 
to find the value of u1 and h1 for that we will need the temperature t1 so using the characteristic equation of state for the air that is pv is equal to mrt so for state 1 it will become p1 this will be v1 and m is constant in both state 1 and state 2 r is also fixed and this will become t1 so we are interested to find the value of t1 first so it will become p1 v1 over m r so putting the values t1 will be equal to the value of t1 is 20 bar so 20 converting bar into pascal we will multiply 10 to the power 5 with this the value of v1 is 0 0.05 cubic meter divided by the value of m is 1 kilogram multiplied by r the value of r is 287 joule per kilogram per kilo so simplifying this t1 comes out 3 4 8.3 kilowatt. So once we find the value of T1, now we can find easily the value of U1, small u1, that is specific internal energy. And from Joule's law, it is equal to Cv times T1. So Putting the values, U1 will be equal to the value of Cv is 0 0.718 kilojoule per kilogram per kilowatt into the value of T1 is 348.3 kilowatt. So its value will come out. 250.1 kilojoule per kilogram. So this is the required value of U1 which we have to find. Now second to find the value of H2 that is specific enthalpy. For that for a perfect gas we have assumed this that the air is a perfect gas so for that we can write that the value of h1 is equal to cp into t1 so also now the value of h1 will be equal to the value of cp is 1.005 kilojoule per kilogram per kilowatt into t1 is 348.3 so multiplying this we get 350.1 kilojoule per kilogram so this is the value of h1 required second for finding the value of volume before finding the value of v2 we will need some other values that is the value of t2 so to find the value of t2 for that we will use again the joule's law that is u2 is equal to cv t2 here the value of u2 is equal to this is 250.1 and its value increases and it is given over here that 
at state 2 its value increased by 120 kilojoule per kilogram because we are talking for 1 kilogram of air so it is it will be summed with this so the value of u2 will be equal to 370.1 kilojoule per kilogram now from this we can rearrange it for t2 t2 will be equal to u2 by cv so putting the values t2 is equal to the value of u2 is 370.1 kilojoule per kilogram divided by cv so cv is 0 0.718 kilojoule per kilogram per kilogram so t2 value comes out 515.5 kelvin now it's easy to find the value of v2 again using the characteristic equation of state that is pv is equal to mrt so we are talking about state 2 so this will be p2 this will be v2 m is constant r is constant and this will be t2 so now we are interested to find the value of new volume that is v2 so it will become m r t2 divided by p2 so putting the values v2 will be equal to the value of m is 1 kilogram the value of r is 287 joule per kilogram per kelvin and the value of t2 is 515.5 kelvin and the value of p2 is 50 bar so converting it to pascal we will multiply it and for 5 with this so when we simplify this we get 0 0.0296 cubic meter so this is the required new volume for state 2 and it is the overall solution of problem 2.8